guys, it's Andrew at night, and today I'm going to run you through my top 5 launches for 2014. These are all going to be running on my Nexus 5. Now, one of the cool things about Android 4.2.2 is that you can just go into your device, hit the home option in settings, and then change your launcher. It's much, much quicker than it used to be, where you had to go into the defaults of apps, cancel them, or download a third party app. So you can just go from here, and the first one I'm going to show you is the one I'm currently running, which is Nova Launcher. This has been sort of a stock favourite for a couple of years now for just emulating pretty much a stock Android experience but absolutely everything is customisable. So for example you can see the transition where that goes, it's just like the 4.2.2 one but if you go into settings there are a huge amount of transitions you can choose as you can see there. I'm running the Prime version which gives you a few more features but basically you can customise everything from <clears throat> number of home screen, widgets, icon packs number of icons per home screen, things like that. It's just really, really, really quick, really customizable, and it's definitely there if you want to have something that pretty much emulates the stock Android experience, um, the only difference being that you don't have the Google search on the left. But if you want to get something that looks pretty close to stock and is very customizable, Nova Launcher is a great way to go. A another launcher is AV8. Now this is completely different. This completely changes the Android experience, and it basically does what Chameleon Launcher should have done, and so when you're walking around town, you can see it says I'm at home currently. If I flick across here, I've got work and going somewhere options. Now currently I'm not walking around, I'm just stationary, so it hasn't got anything showing up. But if you walk around, things that are powered by Foursquare will pop up. So like bars, clubs, restaurants, uh, museums, that sort of thing. And you can choose to go onto there and it'll customise your home screen accordingly. So if you're in like a coffee shop, it'll pull up any apps that you have for coffee or for uh, money and stuff like that. So it works really well. It also categorises your applications into collections which you can then edit and if you swipe across again you have an A to Z of all your apps so different collections will pop up depending on where you are so when I'm at home the home collection which is currently empty pops up Then if I go to work the collection changes to work so basically it's trying to make your phone more aware of what you're doing and give you all the content you want each um, sort of location has a widget panel that you can then customize and you can also customize your widgets on this home screen and also this favorite application sort of quick setting thing which always stays at the bottom. Next we have, and I apologize if the quality of this is a bit odd, I'm using my backup camera so I'm not sure how the focus is going. The next one's called Everything Home. I believe this used to be called Everything.me but basically what this does is kind of similar, it tries to be more aware to know what you're doing so if you want to do, say, you're going to a rugby match, you can type in rugby and it will pull up all the content on your phone but then also these HTML5 web apps will also be pulled up. So say you want to go look at, go look at the Guardian Rugby or BBC Sport Rugby and you can search anything, it's really cool, it changes the wallpaper and you can make it more specific so you can search for restaurants in Birmingham and it will pull up all these web applications which you can use to show you the um, restaurants that are around you. It also pulls up some websites devoted to um, Birmingham and all restaurants in Birmingham. So it's really cool, really location aware, it has these smart folders as well. So financial services, these are all automatically sorted. Again, you have your own background and then you have a bunch of also very helpful web applications. So that is everything.me or everything home rather now. The next one is Action Launcher, which is probably one of my favorites up there with Nova. So I do prefer something that looks a bit closer to stock. This is basically, again, a bit like Nova, it repl no, replicates more of a stock experience, except for this one, to get your applications, you swipe left, and then you have a list, and you can swipe again to get to your widgets. You can also set it so that this quick bar up top is there instead of the search bar, however I prefer the look of the search bar. The other cool feature of this, which is another major feature, is covers and shutters. So I can tap Hangouts once, and it'll launch Hangouts. I can slide up and it will launch my social folder. Similarly with travel, tap it to launch maps, click it, launch, launches the folder. You can also then do this with widgets. I've got it turned off because I don't find it that useful. But for example, you could then swipe up, swipe it up again on Spotify and it would launch sort of a pop-up of the widget there, which is quite cool. The other thing you can also have is a widgets panel that slides out from the right, which again I don't use because I don't think it's that useful and doesn't look very good um, in my opinion. But a lot of people like it, you can then have your most used applications and you can set it so that in any application you can slide across and access this widget panel. So if that sounds something you're interested in, you might want to track, uh, check out Action Launcher. And the last one is Thema. This is completely different, this completely changes how your home screen looks 
and it's basically just a big um, category of themes that you can then sort of one click install on your device you can swipe down to access your notification shade um, but I'll show you just what the themes look like where it's most popular so there's an iOS 7 theme but there's a huge amount of these and each of them completely changes how your phone looks so for example put this one on one click it hits apply there we go and then it's all set up for you on your phone with all the widgets, all the icons, everything done for you. And this is really cool if you do like changing the look of your phone completely um, every now and then. The only thing I don't like is the way that quite a lot of them don't really work with the notification bar showing. You have to have it, have it hidden and then you have to reveal it, which for some reason I don't really like. I much prefer having it there. Um, but that's my preference and there are a couple of themes that work with the notification bar. But if you really want to change up how your device looks, Thema is probably the quickest and easiest way to go. I believe it's currently in beta, but if you poke around on forums, you should be able to find some invite codes um, or some way to get around it. So yeah, this has been my top five launches for Android 2014, running on my Nexus 5. This has been Android at Night. Please subscribe if you haven't seen it before, and I'll see you guys in the next video.